begin our review for the first exam, here are three multiple choice questions to consider. Number four, which of the following groups of accounts contains only liabilities? Well, notes payable is a liability, but retained earnings is not a liability, and prepaid rent is not a liability since it's an asset, so it's not A. B. Contributed capital is not a liability. Bonds payable is a liability, as is unearned revenue. But it's not B. C. Unearned revenue is a liability. Bonds payable is a liability. And accounts payable is a liability. So C looks like a great answer. D. It's not that either, because prepaid rent is an asset. Uh, so that throws D out. And E, it's not because contributed capital as uh, shareholders' equity and prepaid rent is an asset. So the answer to 4 is C. All three of those are liabilities. Number 5, the purpose of depreciation expense is to, and you'll remember that depreciation is usage of long-lived assets such as property, plant, and equipment. And depreciation arose in history because of these large capital or property, plant, and equipment purchases and the desire to match the current month's revenue or the current period's revenue with the expenses that had to be incurred in order to generate that revenue. So they needed some way to spread the cost of those long-lived assets out over their useful life, putting a little bit of their cost in each period. And that is what depreciation means. So looking at our choices for this, A, provides cash. No, there is no cash. Um, in depreciation expense. Remember, it's debit DE, credit AD, or debit depreciation expense, credit accumulated depreciation for the usage this period. So it's not A. B, record the balance sheet value of the plant assets to be approximately the replacement value. No, it's not the replacement value because we're showing the usage of the original cost. So it's not B. C. Match expenses with revenues using a reasonable systematic method. And that is what it is. D. Maximize earnings per share. No. And definitely not E. So 5. It's the matching principle. It's matching revenues with their associated revenues. Number 6. Which of the following types of accounts are closed during the closing process, or it should say the closing process, and not the closed process. You'll recall that we close our income statement accounts, or we close the income statement. So we're going to close revenue and expense accounts. And we'll also close dividends. And the reason we close revenues and expenses is to determine um, in our accounts specifically what net income is and to move that net income, the difference between the revenues and expenses, into retained earnings. And the reason we close dividends is to zero out our dividends for the period and we close it into, again, retained earnings. So looking at our choices, uh, we never close assets and we never close liabilities, so it's not A. It wouldn't be B because we don't close assets. It wouldn't be C because we don't close assets or liabilities. It wouldn't be D because we don't close liabilities. And so E must be the answer. We close our revenues. We close our expenses. In other words, we close the income statement. Uh, and remember, we close our income statement to zero it out. So next year, we start from zero and uh, figure out what, what was the revenue for that period, not commingling periods together. So E is the answer.